Hey, what's up everyone? Nick here. It's another Tuesday, so of course that means it's time for me to answer another one of your questions um, and give away another pair of shoes. It's the sixth straight week that we're giving shoes away, and I plan on continuing doing this all throughout the rest of the year. Um, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram, at Nick Simmons, to enter for a chance to win. Let's get to today's question. This is a great one. It's one I've been getting frequently because um, I've been talking about weight a lot, but it is Nick. You talk about target race weight a lot but how does someone actually find out what their target race weight should be? Um, you know, the reason I've been talking about weight a lot is that I'm heavy. I mean, I have been lifting a lot of weights um, and I'm actually heavier than I've ever been. I'm weighing 183 pounds right now. And yesterday I did an all out 400 at 183 pounds just to see how fast I could run at that new weight. Uh, if you wanna see that, it's over on my main channel. It'll be uploaded in the next week or so. So make sure you follow me there as well. Um, but you know, we talk about target race weight and I don't want to say that skinnier is faster because it's not always faster. I don't want to say bulkier is faster because that's definitely not the case in a lot of, uh, of scenarios. What you want to find is the healthiest weight for you to train at the healthiest weight for you to race at. Um, and those are going to change sometimes. I remember, you know, in, during my pro running days, I like to train at 165 to 170 pounds and I like to race at 162. Now, if I held 162 for too long, I would get injured or sick. It was just too light. I didn't have enough fat on me. I didn't have enough meat on my bones and I would slowly wear down. So I actually had a target training weight that I'd stay at for a long period of time. Even through the early season meets, I would stay at that training weight knowing that I was gonna strip off the last two or three pounds when I got into championship season. Championship season only lasts a few weeks so I could hit that 162, just be flying around the track. And then of course, at the end of championship season, I'd take a good long two to four week break and put my weight back on and be a lot healthier going into the next season. So how do you find the, ra the race weight that's best for you, I hate to say it, but it is partially trial and error. You know, I played around a lot as a pro runner, um, moving my weight around to see just exactly where things felt best. Um, I knew that if I got below 160 and I tried racing below 160, I'd get injured or sick almost immediately. So that was too light for me as I trained for the eight and the 15. Um, if I stayed under 165 for too long, I would slowly deteriorate until I eventually got sick or injured. For some reason, and, and you know, when you're a pro runner and all you do is run, I got really dialed in to like 162 for championship running. But again, I like to train heavier than that. So for you personally, you're gonna need to find what race weight is just right for you. And not necessarily be at that weight through the entire season. I don't recommend doing that, but find that target race weight for training and that target race weight for championship season. And then also what I call recovery weight, which for me was like 170 plus pounds because I needed to press that reset, but I need to give my body the nutrients that it needed after a long season to prepare for another long push for another long season. Uh, your distance is going to make a big difference. You know, you look at a hundred meter runner and you look at a marathoner and obviously they're built very different because they're carrying different amounts of weight, different speeds for different periods of time. So that's going to make, um, a, a, that's going to be a factor you're going to have to consider. Uh, just when I trained for the 5K or 8K in cross country in college and then came down to the 8 to 15, my weight would fluctuate quite a, quite a bit. And of course, if you're young, if you're in high school and you're still growing, your weight's gonna change just by the very nature uh, of you becoming more mature, becoming an adult. And so what may have been your target race weight last year might not be your target ra race weight this year. So I know that's not an exactly a scientific formula. I wish there was something like that, but it really comes down to ask yourself this, how do I feel? You know, when I wake up and I go to train, do I feel run down? Am I constantly getting colds? Am I constantly getting stress fractures? If that's the case, you're probably too light. You may need to carry a little bit more weight. Um, if you're running around the track and you just feel heavy and you look down and you don't feel light and bouncy and lean, maybe you're too heavy and you do wanna actually lean down a little bit. But I think that this can be a really tricky slippery slope. I want to reiterate this one more time. 
Skinny does not equal fast, okay? There is definitely, definitely uh, a problem in distance running sometimes when people think that skinnier equals faster, and that is simply not the case. I think what you want to find is that really sweet spot that is a fine strength to weight ratio where you're running within yourself, you're healthy throughout the entire season. You're getting faster and faster and faster throughout the season as you build on the work that you've put uh, during your base phase until ultimately you reach that kind of pinnacle and you're just crushing it during championship season, but you're not at risk of getting sick or injured because you're only there for a little bit of time. So that's how I found my target race weight. I also consulted nutritionists. I very much consulted my coach. You know, I trusted my coach to, to find, help me find that target race weight. Um, but I was always very cognizant of the fact that I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be the healthiest runner I could be um, and not necessarily the skinniest uh, runner because I knew that that would ultimately lead to a shorter career or shorter season. Um, I want to get into more detail on what I mean when I say a healthy runner. Um, I've said this before on Instagram quite a bit that today at the age of 36, I'm actually healthier and happier mentally and physically. Um, I'm a healthier athlete than I was even at 28 when I made the Olympic final. And people think that's crazy. Like, how could you be healthier now, um, you know, 20 pounds heavier and can't run as fast and older? Um, I want to get into that subject. I think it's a really important subject when you talk about the healthiness of an athlete. So that'll be next Tuesday's video. Um, and I think you're gonna wanna stick around for that. It's maybe the most important topic that we can cover here on Nick Simmons too. But we also gotta give away a pair of shoes. I mean, that's, that's what this is all about. I love reinvesting in the community that's invested so much in me. Whether you follow me on Instagram here at Nick Simmons 2 on my main channel, Nick Simmons, I just appreciate you guys supporting me and this way of, of giving shoes back to the community. It's a little something that I can do to thank you guys. Um, so we're going to give another pair of shoes away. Uh, and today's winner, I choose these at random. This is Sean Lawson, uh, Sean Lawson underscore 27. You are the big winner for today. I'll reach out to you, I'll, uh, DM you right now and see what pair of shoes you want. Um, if you guys want to enter in for a chance to win a pair of shoes, go over to Instagram, follow me at Nick Simmons and follow Running Warehouse. Sh huge shout out to Running Warehouse. If you didn't win this week's giveaway, you should click the link below in the description. Check out their incredible selection of shoes. Um, they've got men's and women's trainers. They've got track shoes, and they offer them at a really, really great price, and they'll ship them straight to your door. So huge shout-out to Running Warehouse. Thank you guys for following, and I'll see you next week. Whoa, almost forgot. You might be wondering what this is. This is my goal board. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with goals, um, and I've done a really good job ticking off most of them, but my fitness goal has been really scaring me uh, this year. Ride a 100 miler. The longest bike ride I've ever done in my life is a 50 miler. And I kind of got the idea that I should go out and tackle this one tomorrow. And I'm going to be posting on my Instagram stories the entire thing. Um, and I may actually make a YouTube video for my other channel, uh, Nick Simmons, about this. So uh, make sure you are subscribed at Nick Simmons. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. This is going to be a really, really tough challenge for me. See you guys.